Good day, wonderful students. It is another learning time. My name is Mr. Onokoya S.O. I will be your financial accounting teacher for today. Our topic of discussion is subsidiary books. Introduction. A financial transaction is the exchange of goods or services with cash or a promise to pay. Financial transactions are temporarily documented in source documents. The source documents are detached papers which can be scattered all over the place, misplaced, or even have the original taken away by the other party of the transaction. This explains why all information must be recorded in the book according to the classification of the transaction. The book where such is recorded is called subsidiary book. This is our focus for today's lesson. Therefore, our learning objectives are 1. Explain the meaning and state three uses of subsidiary books. 2. Enumerate the divisions of subsidiary books. 3. Prepare a subsidiary book for credit transactions. Let's now go into the lesson. Meaning. Subsidiary books are books of original entry. They are also called books of prime entry or books of first entry. They are used to make the first entry of transactions. Before any entry can be made in the ledger, it must first be recorded in the subsidiary books. All transactions written down in source documents must be transferred into the subsidiary books depending on the classification of such transactions. Uses of subsidiary books 1. They help to keep track of the people to whom money is owed and of the people who owed money. 2. They help to know the total sales and purchases at a glance. 3. Subsidiary books are used to record first entries of transactions. 4. They are used to trace error of original entry. 5. They help to easily post transactions into the ledger following the classification principle. Divisions of subsidiary books. Subsidiary books are broadly divided into two. One. Journals or day books, which are for credit transactions. Two, cash book, which is for cash transactions. Journal or day book. A journal is a subsidiary book used to record credit transactions. It has five categories. One, purchases journal. This is used for credit purchases. The source document that supplies information to the Poiesis journal is Poiesis invoice. 2. Sales journal. This is used for credit sales. The source document that supplies information into sales journal is sales invoice. 3. Return inward journal. This is also called sales return journal. It is used to record transactions returned to the company by customers. The source document that supplies information to the return inward journal is the credit note for return outward journal. This is also called Poiesis return journal. It is used to record transactions returned back to our suppliers. The source document that supplies information to the return outward journal is the debit note. 5. General journal or journal proper. This is the fifth category of journal used for other transactions that does not fit into any of the above categories. Such transactions include A. Sales and purchases of fixed assets on credit B. Opening and closing entries of company C. Correction of errors Let's take a short break now. When we come back, we will discuss the format of a journal and the second category of subsidiary books, which is for cash transactions. You are welcome back. So far, we have been able to discuss the meaning of subsidiary books, the various divisions of journal and their uses. We now continue on the format of journal. 
format of a journal. All the first four journals have five columns, except for general journal that has four columns. The first column is titled the date, which is used to recall the date of the transaction. The next column is titled particulars, which is used to recall a short details of the transaction. The next column is titled folio, which is used to recall the ledger page number of the transaction. The next column is titled details, which is used to recall the rate per item and the additions of the transactions. The last column is titled total, which is used to recall the totals of each group of transactions. In journals, the discount treated is called trade discount, which is the discount given to customers who buy in bulk or large quantity. The totals of each journal is posted to the corresponding account in the ledger. For example, the total of Poiesi's journal is posted to Poiesi's account in the ledger, and so on. We now proceed to the second category of subsidiary books used for cash transactions. This is called cash book. A cash book is a subsidiary book used to recall the receipt and payment of transactions. It is a subsidiary book because it is the first place of record for cash transactions. It is also part of ledger because rules of double entry is fulfilled in it. The source documents that supply information into cash book are receipts, vouchers, bank draft, statement of account, check leaflet, and check stub. The cash book has four categories. 1. Single column cash book. 2. Double column cash book. 3. Three column cash book. 4. Petit cash book. Format of a cash book. A cash book has two sites called debit and credit sites. The debit side is the receiving side, while the credit side is the payment side. Each of the sides has four columns. Column A is used to recall date of the transaction. Column B is used to recall the details of the transaction. Column C is for folio or page number why column D is for amount of the transaction. In cash book, the discount treated is called cash discount, which is the discount given to customers who make prompt payment for their transactions. It can either be discount allowed or discount received. It is discount allowed to the seller who gives discount to the buyer. Why it is, discount it is discount received to the buyer? Because his payment will be reduced. Let's take another short break now. When we come back, we will lay our hands on the question requiring us to prepare a journal or the book. You are welcome back. So far, we have been able to discuss the meaning of subsidiary books, the various categories and divisions of journal and their uses. We have also been able to examine the various divisions of cash book and the formats of each journal and cash book. Now, take this question down. Ajan Lekoko, Nigeria Limited, as the following transactions for the month of June 1999. Record the transactions in appropriate journal entry. June 2, 1999. Sold to Shagun Popsin. 20 bags of sugar at 50 naira each. June 14, 1999. Sold to Olawale, 12 dozens of brooms at 45 Naira per dozen. Solution Your first observations in this question 
should be that all the transactions are sales on credit. That means you are going to prepare only sales journal. If there are other types of transactions in the question, such will guide you on other forms of journal to prepare. You now open a sales journal on your notes. The first line should have the name of the business, that is Ajanle Koko Nigeria Limited. The next line should have the title of the journal, that is Sales Journal or Sales The Book. You then draw your five columns showing date, particulars, folio, details, and total respectively in that order. For transaction one, date column will feature June 2, 1999. Particular column will feature 20 bags of sugar at 50 Naira. Details column will feature 1,000 Naira, which is the multiplication of 20 pieces and 50 Naira. Total column will feature the same 1,000 Naira, since the transaction is just single. Should there be more than one transaction on that date, the total column will show the totals of the transaction for that date while the details column will show the amount of each transaction. For transaction 2, date column will feature June 14, 1999. Particular column will feature 12 dozen of broom at 10 naira per broom. Details column will feature 1 1440 naira, which is the multiplication of 10 naira and 12 pieces, which makes one dozen that is 120 naira. Then multiply that by 12 dozen, which will give you 1440 naira. At the end of the posting, you sum up the figures of the total column. This will give you 2,440 Naira. This will be transferred to the credit side of the sales account in the ledger. Dear students, this is where we are going to stop for today. Take your questions for assignment. Assignment 1. I like the various divisions of day books. 2. Explain on the specialty of journal proper. Dear students, kindly visit the Lagos State Education Twitter handle at LASG Education to submit your answers, get soft copies of this note, and also ask your questions. For further readings, you can visit www.accountinglearning.com. Thank you.